As the Civil War is coming to a close, President Abraham Lincoln and his wife attend a play at Ford's Theater on April 14, 1865. During the play, the famous actor John Wilkes Booth gets into the presidential box, shoots the president, and escapes. It results in a massive manhunt. Ordinary people like you and I actually saved artifacts and mementos from those terrible events. This is something people did in the 19th century, and these artifacts were actually cast about across the country and throughout the world. Today, the Civil War Trust is going to track down some of these mementos and artifacts and see some of the things that Abraham Lincoln wore, that he held, and even some of the things on which he spilled his blood on those terrible days. Our journey will take us up to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, but we're going to start here in Washington, D.C., where we're going to speak with Harry Rubenstein, chair and curator of the political division at the National Museum of American History. I'm standing next to Abraham Lincoln's office suit. Um, this is a suit that he had for many years in the White House. You know, the last time he wears it, you know, in many respects, is one of the happiest days in Lincoln's life. You know, victory is in the air. He decides on that day, wearing this suit, to take a carriage ride with Mary Lincoln. And Mary talks about Lincoln as being happier than she remembers him, you know, for many, many years. And they start to talk about their future. And Lincoln says, I want to go to Jerusalem and see the holy city. I'd love to see the gold mines in the West. And Mary you know, says, I'd like to see the capitals of Europe. And they begin to start planning their futures. And Lincoln turns to, him, to Mary and says, we really need to put you know, the sorrows of the past behind us and think about the future. And let's go to the theater and have a good time. As Abraham Lincoln is getting ready to go to Ford's Theater, he's drinking a cup of coffee, and he leaves this behind on the windowsill. This is the last cup that Abraham Lincoln drank from the night he went to Ford's Theater. The first object that came to the collection was Lincoln's hat in 1867. We're not exactly sure when he purchased it from a Washington hat maker by the name of Davis. And we don't know how often he wore the hat. But we do know that the last time he wore this hat was to go to Ford's Theater. The hat itself was left behind in the presidential box. As soon as the War Department takes over the theater, to sort of preserve it as a crime scene. They take the hat and the chair that he was sitting in back to their offices. And in 1867, it's given to the Smithsonian Institution. Boos comes into the presidential box, shoots the president, stabs the Lincoln gas, jumps onto the stage, and everything explodes into chaos. Laura Keene, the producer and star of Our American Cousin, is allowed to cradle the presidents in her arms. And as that happens, blood from this wound stains her dress and her cuff. As you can see, there's a few blood stains on the cuff. Now we're here in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, a place connected with Abraham Lincoln, and we're here at the Gettysburg Museum of History with my friend and curator, Eric Dorr. The first thing I brought out today was a, this is an actual piece of towel that was used to stop the blood of Abraham Lincoln. It's very faded, but there is a stain on there, and that is the president's blood. And we know that because we tested the piece chemically. In Abraham Lincoln's day, people were really into relics. You know, they took little pieces of things. There were many hair locks taken um, when, when Lincoln died. I, through my research, I found at least seven what we call copious hair locks, big, thick hair locks. That's ones that were clipped off that night. There's no replicating the color. Um, you see colorized photos of Lincoln, but there it is. Exactly. That's the color of Lincoln's hair, um, at least in his last days. Um, here are, in this box, prison hoods from the Lincoln conspirators. And over here, 
are the wrist irons and leg, leg shackles also that the prisoners were forced to wear. You know, you can see they really show the desire for vengeance and punishment of anyone associated with Lincoln's assassination. I, I never quite, in looking at this material, have decided whether it makes the mythic more real or it makes the real more mythic. You can cast yourself back in a time that you can't do in almost any other medium. We hope you enjoyed our exploration of some of the mementos and artifacts associated with Lincoln's last days. The people involved with these events were real, and these artifacts can help remind us of that. Thank you to the Smithsonian, thank you to the Gettysburg Museum of History, and thank you for watching.